gosh, I almost forgot to vlog today. <laughs> I almost forgot to vlog today because I've literally just been working since last night. Like last night, I was up late and then at around 12, I decided to drink some breakfast tea. And if anyone knows me, all I need is this much caffeine to be like turned. Like caffeine affects me like a lot so basically that little bit okay I had one cup of breakfast tea there was about that much tea I only left it for like three minutes probably the tea bag and then I put a bunch of milk so it was like this much milk and this much tea and then um, I put a little bit of sugar okay I put a lot of sugar but dude I guess it's been a while since I had anything with like, I guess that kind of caffeine. I actually haven't even had chocolate in a while, so I haven't had caffeine and I ended up finishing my work, which I don't know if I would have done it if I didn't, um, if I didn't take the breakfast tea, but I was up until like 5 a.m. And I was doing everything from editing vlogs to posting on my Instagram, which I never do, to like um, applying for scholarships, to, you know, looking up like, different schools and stuff. And then um, also, you know, uh, I was just trying to think about a bunch of, st a bunch of stuff. The, the coolest part, <laughs> the coolest, the the Here's the pros. The pros of me drinking or eating something that has caffeine. I don't know what I eat that has caffeine. So the pros is I get a lot of energy. I'm able to stay awake. I feel excited. I usually have a nice like jam session. Like I listen to music and it's basically like I'm sure it's like a, a high. You know a caffeine high. <clears throat> but it's like every single time I drink like something. So, yeah, I basically get this caffeine high, and I just do all this work and, like, do all this stuff, and my mind is just, like, expanded, and, like, I can think of stuff I never thought of, and I'm, like, organizing everything and, like, organizing my life, and, like, everything's amazing. So then the cons is obviously the crash. So I forced myself to go to sleep about 5. I finally, like, kind of dropped a little bit of the level but like while I was asleep I could like occasionally feel myself like shaking like twerking because um, my body does not react well to caffeine like because I wait a long time also and then so I could barely sleep and then it felt like I needed to pee but I couldn't so I needed to drink more water but I was so like I needed to go to sleep so I couldn't like keep I don't know it was just complicated so I went to sleep and then um, I woke up from George calling me at like 11 because he actually wanted to go take me to brunch and I wasn't gonna go at first because I do have to prepare for this interview thing and um, yeah so but I ended up calling him back at like yeah, like 11 something, and then um, he was like, hey, get ready now, we'll go to this place really close to your house, and they have really good like soups and stuff, and it was really nice, and um, I got some cool pictures, uh, just a couple, and um, <clears throat> yeah, it was really nice, so I decided to get up, I showered and everything, and then also yesterday I realized my shower sink has been leaking so i have to go to the office and go sort that out and on top of like it leaking the like wall plastering stuff over the tub is already like ripping like i kind of pretty much like everything else here except for like the maintenance stuff like i had read people said that it was kind of bad but like the building's pretty old, like I think it's like from the 70s, 
So it's just kind of, I don't know. It's just kind of like every time you're in an apartment building that I've been in, there's water problems. Like, I feel like it's just inevitable when you have that many people and you have water. Like, it's not something that's an easy problem to fix. So I get it, but it's just, it's ratchet and I don't want to deal with it. And, you know, I should have noticed my sink was like, not draining as fast and that's because it was like doing some weird thing but anyways so I need to get that sorted um rewinding a little bit okay so oh yeah yeah sorry I know I was in the right time so I showered and then I got dressed and then George was here so we left he picked me up and it's literally like five minutes away like seriously like it's really close but I've never been there. It's like a really, really cute bakery. It's pretty hipster. Um, they ha I couldn't decide what to get, but apparently, like, George has been there so much, the cashier, like, knew who he was and stuff. So, mm, so then we, we get there, and I decided to get cream of broccoli soup, and it comes with a side of sourdough bread, which George was saying, oh, it's really hipster to get sourdough bread. But I guess I didn't realize like how freaking great it is. And then um, we got like an apricot and cheese danish and that was really good. And we just had some water. I, I figured I would really need water to get this caffeine out. But it seems like it's out and now I'm just like a little bit tired. So maybe I'll take a nap. But um, yeah, I've been drinking a lot of water lately. I think that's been helping me like a lot. Um, so, yeah, so we're just sitting and chilling and talking, and, um, a lot of the times, he, a lot of the times he proves that he's, like, listening to me and stuff, but other times I'm like, you weren't listening to me at all, huh? And, um, but no, I guess he was listening to me, and... I was like talking about how this chick had a video where she asked people like who won the civil war and they didn't know the answer and I was saying like oh if someone came up to me I'd probably be confused as F too because I, I don't I mean I don't want to blame like oh America sucks but like when you compare the way other people learn history and math and science and stuff it just seems like we're kind of weird like the way that we learn stuff like uh the way my friend was describing how she learned stuff, how she learned, like, math in China is, like, there's just, like, a system. Like, there's a structure, and I feel like with America is, like, I don't know. Maybe we're just bad at, like, paying attention, whatever. I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to get better at my geography and my history and my basic fifth grade stuff that I shouldn't have forgotten. Anyway, so I think it was nice he was paying attention to me. Um, I had mentioned my dad was coming, and I hadn't decided if I wanted him to meet him because every other day, every other day, I'm like, okay, I'm done, like, I want to be with someone else, whatever, but it's really hard for me to, like, I, I'm not in to, I don't want to talk about it because it's going to depress me, and then if we actually do like break up that's gonna like depress me more I don't know okay anyways so yeah I just wanted to touch on that like I don't know what's gonna happen and I don't know what to do like you know how when you're the person in the relationship you can't ever ask anyone what's you can't tell anyone what's good for them because you don't know exactly everything that happened like you don't know how they felt but there's some things that I don't know if I can, like, move on from them. So, you know, but I'm not, I never try to just give up, you know. I never try to give up, so. <sighs> yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Oh, man, I feel really tired. I still have a bunch of stuff to do. But I think I'm going to take a nap. And, um, yeah, I think I'm going to take a nap.
But yeah, I just get anxiety when I think about George or when I think about my dad. They both give me anxiety. Like, it's like I don't want to deal with it, but I have to, you know? It's like I need to grow up. But I guess I'm more worried about my classes and, you know, every time I talk to my mom, she's talking to me about, like, switching schools and, like, stuff. The reason I don't have confidence is because I've already applied to all these schools and I've already done this whole thing. And if I had another option for school, which I was, like, hoping, hoping till the last day. The last day I accepted the school, this was my last choice school, and I was on the wait list for my dream school, or like my, it could be second or first choice. I had a first choice because it was close to home, and that one was, every single school I applied to was like a shot in the dark. Like even this school, I'm thankful I got in, but if I would have known it would have been like this, I would have just not even tried to come here. But it's like every time I think like, oh my god, like this is awesome, like I'm totally over that hump. Like something else happens and it all is based in the fact that like I came here and they kind of like manipulated my position in a way. Because I didn't really know that like, like I probably, like I wish I would have just like caught the fact that like I was in the wrong like thing and just kind of trusted in myself but instead I just went with you know what the advisor recommends which I I've half done that in undergraduate like half the time I didn't listen and the other half you know they were saying something good it depends on the person but I just none of these people are really trustworthy to me and I guess that's the hardest part is like in undergraduate I had so many people I trusted so many faculty that went out of their way to help me and it's just different that like the faculty here is trying to help me but the problem is like the foundation of me coming to this university was already screwed up in the first place like I almost wish they didn't accept me because if they wouldn't have accepted me then I would have tried another route and to be honest like I think it would have been better, but, um, I mean, I gotta be happy that I'm getting at least slight experience, like, I'm always dropping this thing, at least I'm getting, like, slight experience, and, you know, I'm trying not to take things for granted, I'm trying to get excited about being here, but every single day it's something to remind me like I'm not supposed to be here you know and I was every time I talk to my mom she kind of reminds me like that stuff sucks you know like I think it was yesterday I said like oh I always feel bad because I'm the one that's always bringing my mom down but I realized she does the same thing to me because I called her and was like hey like should I budget uh, like should I budget this sorry I just got an important email okay Okay, sorry about that. See, now I might have to do my entire assignment over with again. So, I just don't feel really good. Like, that's why I should never drink caffeine. Because I already didn't feel good. 
anyways I my mom I called her and I was like hey well she called me and then I said hey like a lot of people have been talking about where I'm gonna live next year and I'm worried about like all the stuff I have because you guys know I just bought a TV and I have all this other junk here and I said like should I like try to plan to save for a month because I'm not gonna have like any money besides like what I have now for the whole semester like should I try to save for like another place for like a month and um instead of like trying to go home I could save like three hundred dollars basically and try to put it towards rent and my mom just like laughs and she's like three hundred dollars is not gonna get you like anything for rent like she could probably uh help me out but um sorry I just I can't do this yeah like she was like oh so you're planning to stay cause I thought you were planning to go I don't know where I'm planning to like go like I just feel like if I didn't get into the program like the first time like there's not really a hope for now you know and so I I just don't feel good I really don't <sighs> this just like sucks because every time I do something it's just like it's never over it's never over And that sucks. But yeah, um, brunch was really nice. But there's, like, it was really nice and I was in a good mood. But there's this tiny <sighs> bug that's, like, bothering me. That's, like, telling me, like, you need to, like, finish this. You need to end this, whatever. Whatever, I'm going to try to do my work. Bye. Hi. Hi, the kid, if you could see me. <clears throat> I'm about to go to the grocery store. It's already dark. It's like 8, but I don't have anything to eat, so... I'm trying to avoid drive through and fast food, so... I'll just hop in the grocery store and hop out. I don't even care right now. I woke up just now and like, as you can see, my eyes giant. Like, I don't know what got in it or what got on it, but I'm definitely making my eye appointment now because just because it's been like kind of dormant and like it hasn't hurt that bad. I've forgotten how important it is and it's just it's my own fault dropping the ball I just woke up and okay I went to sleep about six o'clock it's about eight o'clock now I set my alarm for seven o'clock but the whole time I was asleep my roommate oh sorry not my roommate my best friend called me like literally eight times it, it said eight times she called me for literally the whole time i was sleeping and then it's like i swear to god i turned off my phone but the problem is i wanted to make sure i woke up from the alarm because like i can't really like oversleep because i have a lot of work to do so yeah basically it just kept ringing and ringing and i'm like really really pissed because if someone doesn't answer the first two three calls why would you go to 8? I know she's alive and she's okay because she always does this. Like, she always, like, calls me, like, 50 times. And it pisses me off because it's, like, obviously I'm, like, doing something. And then, like, I read her message that her, she left on Facebook and just says, oh, I'm freaking out. So, obviously she's alive and well. Like, you know, I just, I, 
I'm in like the worst mood just from that but then as soon as I kind of was awake from when she called I was about to like throw my phone on the ground but then I saw my mom called me so I tried to pick up and then my mom hung up so I was like okay y'all all trying to call me at the same time you know like 15 minutes ago or whatever she called me and then she like she called me again and she's like, oh, how come you didn't answer? And I was just, like, fucking pissed. Because I was like, you guys need to stop calling me. Like, the ex- I don't know. I just, I don't like their timing of, like, calling and calling. She did need something important. And obviously, it's my mom. But, like, she literally called me two minutes before. I actually did pick up. But she hung up on me. I don't know why that, that pissed me off. It's just because I was already in a bad mood. So then it was like, you're, like almost lecturing me about answering the fucking phone and it's like I was just like asleep like can we chill so anyways I get really annoyed because like basically the only two people that call me are my mom and my best friend and and, like my mom pretty much only calls me like when she needs something or like she's like oh how are you doing and then she'll just like hung up it's fine or you know we'll have a good laugh or something my best friend literally calls me to tell these stories so usually I'm down to escape like this place to like think about something else but she needs to chill when I have my own shit to do like that's what pisses me off and then she's always like oh were you asleep or like were you whatever like obviously if I have eight missed calls I'm like not in a place to answer the fucking phone like I'm sorry for all that cursing, but I'm a really mad. I guess because my eye hurts, I just put eye gel in it, but I forgot to put my ice pack in the freezer. I guess I wasn't expecting me to just knock out and my eye to be like hella swollen. So it's like my eye hurts. I didn't really get all that much for my nap, and I have like hella work to do. And yeah, my best friend and my mom are annoying as hell. <sighs> I think just everything, like, everything is, like, depressing me. Because usually when I wake up from a nap, I feel a lot better. But right now, I feel worse than when I fell asleep. Like, to be honest with you, I just feel like, you know, I'm really stressed out. Like, I, my dad, like, annoys me. And so I already have to see him on the weekend. I don't even get a break, you know. And then... This whole story thing I just did, I might have done the whole thing wrong and have to do the whole thing again. And then on top of that, now I I woke up and I already started thinking about this whole George situation. And it's just, I'm not in a good place. I'm not in a good place. Like, I'm not. I just need to get like a frozen dinner or something. And I wish I could say go to bed, but I'm just going to work on the project I have and finish my work. And yeah, I'm about to cry right now. Like on the phone, my mom was like, you sound sick because when my eye gets swollen, it's like an allergic reaction. So my nose starts running and I start tearing up and I just, I just feel not good. I just feel not Okay, literally right now. George is like, should I come over or do you want to come over? Because he asked me earlier if I would hang out later. I said, I have a lot of work. I don't know if I'm going to hang out. He said, well, if you don't come over here, I'll come over there. So, I mean, I'm not particularly mad at him, like, for saying that. But I just want it, like, I don't know. I just want it to be over, like, I don't, I don't want to have all this work, I don't want to deal with people, I just want to be by myself, like, I don't know, I'm so stressed out, like, I don't know why I'm this stressed out, that's why I'm always thinking it's hormones, because regular, on my regular, like, level, I will, like, 
basically be chill and then like it's very rare for me to be like this like where I'm about to explode so I think like usually that's when I need to cut some stuff out of my life I don't want to say like oh I I don't want to say I can't be in a relationship but I'm starting to think that because I'm very very overwhelmed like I'm very overwhelmed as you can probably tell and I just I don't know what to do because you know I don't want to give up like what me and George have and I don't want to you know give up on my dad or like give up whatever but I so I so don't want to be here sometimes like in this city I don't want to be in this city sometimes and it's just really depressing and like it's frustrating it's frustrating because I'll go a whole day and I'll love everything and everything's so great and everything's really awesome but then the next day I'll hate everything so I just when I go back home you know there's just at least there's a support system but uh <sighs> Yeah, I think I'm literally crying right now. Like, you know, I, I just kind of do feel, like, isolated. Even though my dad's here, he didn't visit me the whole two weeks I was here by myself. He's going to visit me Valentine's Day weekend. Like, I think he's doing that on purpose. And then I don't even know what's going on with George, but I don't want to, like, screw up someone else because I'm having, like, 50 breakdowns and I can't. Like, I just feel like, you know, I'm, like, two people at the same time. Like, everything's good. I'm one person. Every, like, I guess it's, like, good Virgo, bad Virgo. Like, you know, I'm okay with everything, I'm chill, like, I can be in a relationship, I'm not stressed out, and then the other Virgo is just like, get away from me, I want to be by myself, you know, like, I can't do this, like, man, like, I think I do have my, some vlogs from last semester, but none of them go, like, super, like, I'm gonna go check, but most of them were like, oh, today was my first day, today was my second day, whatever, None of them, I don't think any of them express, like, how freaking angry I am. Like, I think it's also, like, dormant. Like, I was saying, I, it's dormant, like, my anger toward the university. So, whenever I forget about it and I'm trying to move on, someone reminds me. So, you know, the other day was my teacher. She was like, oh, yeah, I told the other teacher about your problem. Like, it just keeps going and going. And every time I see the director, he's like, oh, did you figure out your problem? Blah, 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 blah. And then it's like I call my mom and I'm actually, like, you know, thinking realistically about, like, how, like, far am I going to have to uh, spread the money I have for the semester? Like, what am I going to do? And she's like, oh, well, you're staying there. Like, you can't stay there. Like, I'm just, I'm just like, I just always try to minimize, you know, like I always try to make it so that, sorry, I always try to make it so that, you know, I'm looking at it from a different perspective, like, wow, this girl got accepted to a really prestigious university and you know, like, a degree from here would be amazing, she's having a great time, you know, I have all these opportunities, like, especially, like, my mom's already, like, you know, she's married a couple times, and she already has, like, kids, and she already has this, and she always expresses to me, like, how happy she is that I could do whatever I want, I could date whoever I want, and, you know, not to settle for this or that, or, you know, so sometimes I just feel like, why am I even so frustrated? Like, I'm lucky to be in this position, but I don't know. Like, I guess the difference between graduate school and undergraduate is, like, everything is, like, like, everything is a choice in undergraduate, but you kind of have, like, you kind of don't have all these, like, politics and, like, weird stuff, like, 
I feel like grad school has and like you have to see the same people a lot more and you just like have to deal with this other stuff that you don't have to deal with like you know when thinking about research or thinking about like who you work with it's almost like you're on your own in that aspect like depending on your program and like this program you know toward the end of the semester you know I just I didn't like it and there's certain people that like I'm sure they knew like I'm pretty sure my professors knew I did not like the program like I didn't like them and then one of my fellow one of my friends you know uh who came in California with me she explained to me that the program is doing pretty bad because a lot of people leave after the first year or you know they switch to another major or you know and it's like well I'm sure that happens naturally but with a small acceptance group like that shouldn't be happening to be honest with you so I guess uh, let me just head to the store before like you know so uh, it's just like it's just really hard for me to like it's really hard for me to think about this stuff and I'm gonna just go to the grocery store and try to figure it out from there but it's like every single day I try to escape I try to escape my problems and they're just not going away they're just I don't know and I don't know what to do I don't know where I'm gonna go like I don't know like what schools let me just go to the grocery store Bye. Okay, look at this amazing deal. This is like the cheapest I've seen behind you. Now if I could just... Ah. Okay, I don't know how I just did that. <laughs> look what I just did, okay. How... Okay. This is a mess right now. Should I... Mm, should I get just strawberry? Okay. Nope. Nope. That is not happening today. Is this just a display? Because it's about to, like, murder me? Okay. I wish I would have known what the freak I wanted to eat before I came in here and just started looking at food, you know? Mm. I guess I'll get some type of meat. Yeah, at least do. <laughs> Hi! Okay, so I'm cooking and it's like 10 p.m. Yeah, it's like 10.15 exactly. I don't know if you could hear me. But, um, yeah, I'm experimenting. I decided to go to the store just to get something for dinner and so I ended up getting wings but I also ended up getting some other stuff but they actually look like they're doing fine I'm following or I just kind of got an idea for a recipe I don't know if I'm even doing this right but I'm just gonna bake it after I fry it and put some sauce on it and then I have these noodles which I probably these shells, which I probably need to take out. And turn that off. So, hold on. What did I want to do again? Oh, yeah. I've been using like the same pan like every day, which is good. Okay, 
Okay, so I don't know if you can hear me. Hold on. Okay. So I went to the grocery store and, you know, I was all mad and whatever, but when I got to the grocery store, I was like happy. Let me show you what I got. Okay. I got Simply Orange Mango, which I think I really like. I got two different cream cheeses. Simply Grapefruit. I'm going to try to mix things up. I'm going to mix this with all that kale I have left. And then um, I got some more yogurt and strawberry milk. And oh yeah, I got some bacon if I actually wake up in time to make breakfast. And some eggs. Let me just toss that. And then, oh yeah, so I got some little bagels and then also for the, for the salad, I noticed pecans were so good in my salad, so I got pecans and walnuts. And dried cranberries. I figure food will make me feel better. And I think that's it. Oh, and then I got this before I checked out. Also, it was really funny. I decided to call yeah. I decided to call my friend back. Hold on.